Hey y'all, what's going on? I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and you're staying home. Man, I can't believe all the models I've seen in the last couple weeks. But it is a great time to build, so why not? So, here we are with our Tirpitz 1-700 Rebel. I must admit, I, this kit's going together beautifully. It's probably one of the best I've ever seen. Just the way it was tooled and the way it comes together. Um, so where are we here? Well, we've, we've got the paint job. It just takes some time to get the paint. And we have some of the superstructure in. I've noticed that a lot of people, a lot of models I've seen, especially the Bismarck, steer clear of doing the Baltic on the superstructure, the white and black stripes. They'll go ahead and do it on the on the, the hull, but they won't do it on the superstructure. And I was one of those guys. Um, but I find out that it just takes some time and some planning. And you can get pretty straight lines. But yeah, I do love this kit. And I'm taking my time with it. I work from home anyway, so it's to me it's not that big a deal to be uh, quarantined. I live in a state where I'm one of the last five that have not issued stay-at-home orders, but a lot of us are doing it anyway. So that's kind of where we are. There you go. Long way to go. One of the things I need to do, come with me over here, is put in those, um, there you go, her decals for her deck, her ID IDs. Um, and they're weird because they're square. They're not your usual um, battleship, German battleship markings. And the uh, the ones I have, you put the old World War I Navy insignia inside the red field. And I hate that. I mean, you go to all this trouble to make a fairly accurate representation of a model of a ship. And then because of sensibilities, people don't put swastikas in. And the swastika item itself is not bad, but that's my, my opinion. Um, anyway, so I think that'll, that's what I'm going to do next and continue to work on. The other thing is, um, to protect it, I've been using this clear coat. God, I hate that. I don't know about you guys, but I hate a clear gloss on a battleship. The water, yes, high gloss, but the ship, no. And yes, I know they're always misty and they've got a little drizzle all over them, but um, at this scale, not so much. So let me show you something else. We'll do today's history lesson. How's that? All right, so I'm ready for today's history lesson. So we all know that the Tirpitz is the big brother, or the same actually. Well, she's a little bit bigger and identical almost to her other brother, the uh, Bismarck. She had some additional gunnery put on her, but pretty much she was identical. So during the Battle of the Denmark Straits, where the Bismarck and the Prince Eugen set out together, and initially the Prince Eugen, or the uh, Bismarck was in the lead, but um, they switched positions. And I understand that we're talking some great distance as far as the gunnery for the, the, the British battleships, the Hood and uh, KGB, but I don't understand how you can confuse those two ships. That's a vast difference. And yet they mistook this Prince Eugen for her big brother. Always kind of cracked me up. I mean, when you look at their scales, I think you know who's who. Anyway, just an observation, just to be silly. I mean, after all, i got nothing else to do, right? But I just thought I'd give you an update. So I think next, we'll just continue on. Um, there's a unique paint job that I've got to continue on the turrets. Um, but I'm, I'm not near the turrets quite yet. I've got to do the, uh, um, the rest of the, uh, the deck. I've got to do the, you know, the anchor chains and the cowlings and... Um, all that. Anyway, so that's kind of where we're at. And I will talk to you guys later, alright?
You guys take care, please.